Recently, we've had a few clients who've asked the question, do dividends fluctuate when prices fluctuate? And the answer is no. I'm going to illustrate what I mean by that. Let's assume that we make an investment in XYZ Corporation, and we buy XYZ Corporation for $10 per share. Well, this company pays us a dividend of 30 cents per share. And when we calculate the yield, it is simply the dividend rate divided by the price per share, or in that example, a 3% dividend yield. Let's assume that XYZ Corporation goes up in value to $15 per share. The dividend rate still is 30 cents per share. So when we calculate the yield, it's 30 cents divided by $15 per share. And now it calculates out at a 2% yield. Well, on the other side of the coin, let's say that XYZ Corporation falls in value from $10 per share to $5 per share. It still pays that same 30 cent per share dividend. So to calculate the yield, it is 30 cents per share divided by $5, and that calculates out to a 6% yield. What we look for are companies who are increasing their dividend rate on a year-by-year -year basis. Now, I'd like to give an example, a real live example uh, of dividend growth. Back in 1998, when both of our boys were ages 14 and 9 years old, I was trying to stimulate their interest in investments, and so I suggested that we make an investment in a little Frappuccino company that makes Frappuccinos. Well, back then, we invested $2.41 per share in this company. Interesting, that price is about the same as the price of a very small Frappuccino today. It didn't pay any dividend back in 1998 because they were taking all of their earnings and reinvesting them back into the business, trying to grow that business. Well, fast forward to 2020, some 22 years later, this company has grown in value and today sells for about $74 per share. Now, many people would be quite thrilled with having their investment go from $2.41 to $74 in a 22-year period. That's a nice return, I must admit. But what's key is to look at what the income from the investment has done, which is the measure of the dividend. This company went from a zero dividend, started paying a dividend, and increases that dividend each and every year. Today, this company pays us a dividend of $1.64 per share. Pretty remarkable. What's also interesting is you look at what the yield, or excuse me, what the dividend is, $1.64 versus the price or what we invested. It takes about every 18 months for us to get back 100% of our original investment. $1.64 in dividend income each year takes about a year and a half to get back all of the original investment in this company. Pretty remarkable. That's what we look for in great companies that grow income over time. If you have any questions about this concept, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much.